Okay, guys, day seven. Uh, I'm in warrior mode. Now, I will say um, what I have done is given myself the levels that I had from previous builds because uh, obviously we've had three today. So let's see what Sean's Super Digital Zombies are doing now. Before I, you know, I had noticed they really do start attacking the building. So at the moment I'm level 53. The game stage of right here. Let's see, the zombies are jumping up and down. Obviously I have redesigned um, the design of the base to some extent. So we've got none of the cheesy uh, stairway to death. Since Sean has already uh, taken care of that issue. So the entrance to the base is actually underground. So we look like we're wandering about trying to decide what to do. But decisions are made pretty quickly by the looks of that. That's pretty cool. And then we beat the shit out of the building, which is awesome. It also looks as if there's a bigger spread of the zombies, um, because we've got a, a group over here somewhere. Yep, trying to smash seven bells of shit out of base. Oh wow, well, yeah, this is this is what we want. What can your PP cop doing some damage? They are jumping in a better way. Wow. I have um, changed the zombies up to 16 from 8 and uh, we are in warrior mode. I think that's, to be honest, where most people would want to start out. I mean, you can always go lower then, if you find it's too much for you. As you can see, the old spikes are disappearing rapidly. Hopefully the next time I do a video, I will have managed to build blade traps. And we can see how well the uh, zombies cope with being minced. But this is looking good so far. It does seem a little bit of confusion there about what we're going to do. They're running around a tad. And he's going, right, I'm going to jump, see what I can find. And straight back at it, look at that. Look at the action we're getting now. Lots of lovely radiated zombies. Pearls. Dogs in there as well, nice. Not seen any vultures yet. Which is a shame because I've got a a good plan to defeat the vultures, I think. What we want to do is stop that cop from puking. There we go. Because they can do some serious damage when they do. Another level there. Just out of interest, let's see what the old uh, FPS is like. With this number of Zeds. 
That's not too bad, really. Look at the action. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Wow. They're jumping up and just... That is awesome. And we're not even at 2 o'clock yet. Jesus Christ. Yeah, guys, this is what we want from my world. <clears throat> now, as I say, it is only day seven, but bear in mind that I have given myself the um, levels back that I had in previous builds. Just so I could sort of carry on. So, really, this is, you know, what we're looking at here is a. Uh, Probably a day 35 or something like that. Jesus Christ, look at that, mate. he's going for it. Trying to get to me. Nice. Now the walls here are now um, inside the base, there's three. Um, layers of reinforced concrete thick. With the upper floor just being wood. Because I didn't think they'd get that far. Wow. Can you imagine loads of you with a you know, a reasonably high game stage trying to defend your base against these and they are chomping through the base and this is reinforced uh, concrete looks like I might have to look into maybe doing reinforced steel next but that is very, very expensive I don't know what I'll be able to do to do. The other thing, you notice that the zombie cops aren't puking. You notice that? He should stop and puke. And he's not, which is uh, perhaps a bug we need to put out. They do puke sometimes, but it's not. They used to um, be quite sort of regular in their pukiness. Oh, we've got another radiator dude coming in from somewhere. Is that a screamer? Spider zombies there. Cool Guys, this is action fast. be interesting to see what damage they've done by the end of the haul. I mean, I would have thought your game stage would normally be day 7, what, around 15? Uh, sorry, your level would be 15 to 20, maybe. So your game stage would, with no deaths would be fairly, uh, fairly high, I suppose. Look at what they're doing, mate. My God, that's good. And I'm just... It looks like I'm going to run out of arrows before uh, I run out of zombies. So, just so the video doesn't get too boring, I'm going to stop the zombies. 
hopefully. Let's just see how much damage they've done. Oh wow, look at that. They've dug down to try and get down in there. All of the um, little uh, spike traps have gone. Taken a whole section out here. And there, look, they've knocked her way right through there. Nice big divot there. Another huge section taken out. And obviously we've got where the main action is. Wow. Okay, let's go back up. Oh, look at that. Hang on. Look at them in there. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to turn them back on. That's awesome, that is. My god, when 17 comes out and you start doing that, people are going to need... Uh, are they doing diapers, nappies? These guys are going to... It's going to be difficult to sort of get rid of them in there. Got them in the end. Wow. That is awesome. Look at that, it's great big holes in the base. 222, so look at that. So what I've done there, look, is broken the um, two blocks in of, of reinforced concrete and started to smash the, the wood um, up, which is four, four, five blocks high, I think. So that's pretty good. Actually, let's just check inside. Do I stop the video? So you can see what I've done here. So you're looking at one, two, three, four. So four blocks high of uh, reinforced concrete. These are the walls been set so they're three blocks uh, thick. So while they didn't breach the base this time, on a let's say. Um, we were probably really, as I say, on a day 35. So when we got higher than that, I think they would pretty much swamp this base. So I'm seriously going to have to look at uh, changing my game plan there. But guys, that was awesome. Hi everyone. I hope you're uh, enjoying the videos, especially the seven days to die ones. Um, I'd be really grateful if you could help build my channel by subscribing. Um, don't forget to leave comments if you have any questions or whatever. And please share it if you would. Thank you very much and I'll, um, I'll see you in the next ones.